Naro teams at the ready. Hey guys, Killer here, and today we're going to check out the basics of map layout and the roles at play on the field. So, as you can see here, the map is broken up into three parts, Sun Team, the Midfield, and Moon Team. But, for the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at the map from the perspective of Team Sun. So now we can break the map down into more specifics, namely the Defensive Zone, the Neutral Zone, and the Offensive Zone. The first thing to know is that every player plays the game differently. However, it is possible to categorize the different playstyles, namely the goalie, the intercept, or the rusher. And this is now when we introduce the idea of roles. At every time and every place on the field, every player is fulfilling a different role. And another thing to keep in mind is that each player is not limited to a single role. Instead, it's a very good idea for every player to adapt to the situation at hand. For example, if three teammates are rushing into the offensive zone, it would be beneficial for the entire team if one would fall back to the neutral zone and act as an intercept. That way, if the enemy somehow get possession of the ball, there's a teammate in a defensive position to block any further advancements. So, let's take a closer look at the goalie playstyle. Just like any other sport, the goalie's first priority is to defend against the opposing team. However, in Lunaro, the goalie has a lot more free movement and can be very supportive to the team. For example, the goalie has a lot of options to get the ball out of the defensive zone. Like clearing the field with an unstable ball or by passing to a teammate. The goalie must always be vigilant of the opposing team's rushers. Getting between them and the goal makes it more harder for them to sneak a shot in. And finally, the goalie is the last line of defense to block an unstable Lunaro shot. If the intercepts fail to keep the opposing team at bay, then it's up to the goalie to make the difference. So, here's a few clips of me playing a game as a goalie. Here I see that the enemies are starting to advance, so I fall back. And as you can see, their rusher is getting into a position for a one-point throw, and so I catch it. And now that I have possession of the ball, I can safely pass to my teammate who is now rushing towards their goal. In this one, the enemies are trying to push into my defensive zone, but I give them the finger and say, Nope, sorry mate, go back home. And same in this one, they really try to push to get into my defensive zone, but just like last time, I tell them to bugger off and go back home. And now on to the rusher playstyle. Unlike the goalie, the rusher's goal is to get the Lunara to the opposing team's side. This can be done by dribbling past their intercepts or by unstabling the ball in. Ball control is essential to cover ground efficiently. And once in, the rushers need to keep pressure on the opposing team's goalies. Be fast and unpredictable to trip them up. And as soon as there is an opening, take a shot. Piling up one-point throws can devastate the opposing team. But, if there is enough of a clearing, it can be beneficial to try a two-point slam. And again, here's a couple clips of me assuming the rusher role. Here I'm rushing into the offensive zone without the ball, because I'm assuming my teammate is going to pass to me. And so, while I wait, I start lining up my shot. And lo and behold, I sneak in a cheeky one point. Here I'm rushing in with my teammate, who then gets slaughtered, and so I pick up his scraps and get a goal. Here I play intercept, smack this dude up, and immediately switch to rusher roll and get another goal. And here again I rush in without the ball assuming my teammate will pass to me, and once again I get another cheeky goal in. Here I just cleared the field and so I'm rushing in to try and get a quick goal in, but I get stopped midway but I'm able to clean up after myself. And now on to intercept, which is by far my favorite role. The job of the intercept is to adapt, and to rule the midfield. If your team has possession of the ball, it's not a bad idea to go on the offensive, and similarly, if the enemies have possession of the ball, it may benefit the team to go back to the defensive zone. The intercept is the front line of defense. It's a lot easier for an intercept to stop a rusher by checking him than it is for a goalie to catch a shot. 
and they're not only good at defense, as they can also land the high scoring points. By either taking quick two pointer shots or by sniping an unstable ball in. And honestly, nothing is quite as satisfying as nailing a long range two point shot or by sniping a Lunaro in from across the map. But hey, each to their own, I guess. Everyone plays the game differently and everybody has their own quirks. It's what makes Lunaro so goddamn fun. So, learn the role that suits you best and stick to it, get better at it. But also, don't be afraid to branch out and learn how to play the other roles. Because you never know when you might meet your match. And until then, this is Keller out. Happy hunting, Tenno.